It's quite frustrating uh, waiting for Gladys to be finished. They don't pay me much. In fact, they don't pay me bugger all. If you haven't subscribed already, please, please do think of doing so. I've got nearly 600 now, but I'd love to get a thousand. Hi guys, uh, you find me today at Goitra Wharf on the Monmouthshire and Brecon Canal. I've been here before. I think I might have bought the bike here once. I've been here a few times and uh, I've just been up to the cafe and uh, partaken of some very nice carrot cake. And a couple of reasons why I'm here today. Uh, the first thing is I've come to interview a very well-known local celebrity and he gets a lot of people um, uh, after him and uh, I, sometimes he's very talkative and sometimes apparently not so I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can get much out of him let's try uh, hello yes uh, how are you today sir Um, how are you today, sir? Hmm. He's a bit, uh, bit of a stolid character, isn't he? Uh, I don't think I'm going to get much out of him, so uh, I'll have to improvise a bit and just make it up as I go along. Oh, I've been here a long, long time. I've been pushing these barrels all day, all day day or week. Oh, I don't know how long I've been doing it for. It's hard work. They don't pay me much. In fact, they don't pay me bugger all. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not going to get anything from him, am I? So, so these are the old lime kilns at Goitra Wharf. And in days of old, the, uh, the narrow boats barges if you prefer to call them that in those days used to used to stop up there that's the canal up there there's a path actually under the canal there and they used to load up with lime and coal around here and then they would take it down the canal that way to the docks at Newport uh, it's quite a gloomy day been raining on and off for a few days actually and uh, but that's okay because I've had some work to do this week which meant I've had to stay in and uh, staring at the computer screen and such like for hours on end I haven't had much chance to get out and uh, it's definitely not a day to get the Brompton out or for walking miles and miles along the towpath so I've just come out to Goitra Wharf for a quick visit and uh, I thought I'd give you an update on uh, where we are with Gladys the Narrowboat. There's an ABC hire boat over there that's uh, been filling up with water. That's the same company that we hired our boat from on the Langochlan last year. I think ours was possibly a little longer than that one, but same colours. Very nice cafe here at Goitra Wharf. And uh, I was just over there having some uh, carrot cake, which is what I usually get when I come here, and a very nice flat white coffee. There's quite a few people here today, even despite this Pretty rubbish weather. So um, I thought I'd give you an update on uh, Gladys and our boat. And 
the uh, the latest update is uh, that there is no update uh, I haven't heard anything from Aintree Boats since I visited in uh, February and saw Gladys up there in uh, in Liverpool I'm going to be going again in uh, in April that's that's next month and uh, I'm going to see for myself uh, what more they've done uh, I'm waiting for an update from them uh, I've asked them for that but it's not come yet it's quite frustrating uh, waiting for Gladys to be finished uh, the original delivery date was June or July 2023 so you know it's looking like uh, they're going to be 12 months late um, from what I was originally told which is obviously disappointing I do understand that they've had problems getting engines and uh, everybody else's boat has been delayed in the same fashion and that's the one uh, consolation I've got is that uh, I've been contact contacted by several other people who are having boats built at Aintree and they're in the same predicament as me really nothing I can do about it but yeah disappointing and frustrating isn't that cute the pipsqueak I remember seeing that for sale when I was uh, when I was studying the uh, the boat sales before I ordered Gladys and Arrow boat um, yeah there were there were some boats for sale down here at the time second-hand boats but none of them were uh, quite what I wanted and uh, this one in particular is so small but it's really cute yeah, a nice boat to have just for weekends in the summer perhaps what I really want though of course is my own my own narrow boat my own 40 foot entry beetle called Gladys so uh, hopefully it won't be too much longer um, I haven't got a delivery date from entry boats they they seem very reluctant to do that until almost the last minute um, but I'm reasonably confident that it'll be sometime in the summer um, hopefully early summer and I'll keep you uh, informed as and when I hear more about it but I'll definitely go up and see Gladys uh, in a few weeks time in April and I'll film that of course uh, so yeah, so if you can just bear with me a bit longer, I know many people are perhaps a bit frustrated that my channel is called Gladys Sonara Boat and I don't actually have the boat yet. Um, if you're frustrated then imagine what it's like for me, because um, I'm paying for it as well, so um, yeah frustrating and a bit disappointing but I'm hanging in there and I'm trying to keep optimistic and uh, I know it'll be worth it in the end because a lot of people who've got entry beetles have commented that they had to wait for theirs um, but it was worth the wait so uh, that's keeping me going really and of course the support of all you guys so um, especially all your subscribers if you haven't subscribed already please please do think of doing so I've got nearly 600 now but I'd love to get a thousand uh, that would be a bit of a landmark for me really so if you haven't subscribed please think of doing so take a look at the rest of my videos and uh, um, you know you might find something else there which interests you as well so that would be really nice if you could do that but I think I'll close now and uh, I need to get back home I'm actually quite wet uh, and I'm cold it's very cold today in fact it was um, sleet earlier on and hailstones and we're nearly in April so so I'm gonna go home and get a, and dry off and uh, I'll catch you next time hopefully from uh, the towpath of another canal and hopefully with the Brompton next time See if I can get it dirty again, eh? Bye! Aha! This is actually 
the license number for Gladys and Narrowboat. We have the CRT. I've registered uh, the boat now. I had to pay for that, obviously. It's not the same as the license. I'll have to pay for that separately once I've actually uh, um, got the boat on the water. But I've got uh, I've got the boat registered now for this number, and this will be placed in the window uh, of the boat, so that um, any CRT inspectors will always be able to check according to the number that I've paid my license. It's pretty cool, isn't it? It's a bit like a registration number for a car.